Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here on a beautiful day on Lake Huron. We're going to take a flight out over the water. Uh, no real ships or anything. I've checked hover. I'm clear to fly. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to arm this and I'm going to take this guy up. So what I'm going to do is uh, just actually just shoot some um, footage kind of taking this guy out over the lake. So I've got uh, the Polar Pro filter on this guy. And so I'm just going to take it out low and steady over the lake. And just keep taking her out there and out there and out there. And just a beautiful day. I'm uh, only at about six feet above the water. So really nice and low. You can see the sandbar I'm coming up on out there. And again, just... Uh, Taking it out there a little bit. There's some dogs by me, sorry about that. And we're just taking her out for a stroll. Sticking, we're now at about seven feet, so. And we're just kind of hovering, just not really hovering, we're taking it out around the lake here. Just capturing some water views. I seem to be lifting a little bit as I head out there, so I'm. Assuming it's a little bit of a draft as I get out away from shore in the lake lifting it up, so right around seven feet. So I'm now at about oh six hundred feet or so. And we're just kind of cruising along out there. And just taking it straight out. And I like getting this this view from from down low, just as it uh, cuts over the water. And again, still pretty good signal strength for as far out as I am. And we're flying over a seagull. Oh, hopefully he doesn't hit us. He took off real quick. So I'm out there over a thousand feet, which is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up there. I'm going to kind of gimbal this down a little bit. Ah, hi, Mr. Seagull. Let's fly over Mr. Seagull here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lychee. Well, it's not the lychee bird. It's the DJI Go bird. Uh, look at the sun against the water. So I'm going to gimbal up a little bit. So there's the shore where I'm at. So I'm just going to bring it back in towards me, just catching some water views. Look at, look at the water as it rushes underneath us. That is just a phenomenal view, folks. I'm still looking pretty good on battery. So again, just kind of collecting up some stock footage, using projects. Because again, this is just... Uh, Phenomenal views as we're working our way back in shore. We have the uh, Polar, Pro, Polar Pro polarizing filter on here, so we're coming in about 700 feet, so we still got quite a ways uh, to go. And again, we're just uh, kind of really pulling it off, so I'm just kind of walking it right back in. I noticed the wind's kind of got us turned a little bit there according to my heading. So again, I need to be a little bit careful as I'm coming in, but I'm still good, good distance out, just kind of capturing video because I want to be out there somewhere. And just again, kind of walking it back. I'm going to bring it up a little bit because I'm getting, as I'm coming back into the shore, I'm getting closer to the water. You notice I'm getting down below six feet. So I'm just bumping it up a little bit, trying to keep myself at six feet. And again, I'm pulling in here. I'm hoping to see it. That close to the water, I definitely have a hard time seeing it. So I'm still at about 500 feet, so I'm still quite a ways out. Once I get in a couple hundred feet, I'll raise it up so I can see it. I might even issue a return to home if I can't see it on the water because 
I still really can't see it. And I'm going to bump the altitude a little bit because it's dropping again. And uh, it's turned a little bit out there, so I'm, I'm going to hold up and kind of raise it up a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of gimbal it up. Trying to figure out where I'm at roughly. Because uh, I'm not sure where I'm at, so I think I'm further down. I think it's by one of these buoys. I think it's by that middle buoy over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to issue a return to home. Just have it pop up and come back. So let's do So let's see. It should be coming in overhead any time now. Okay, got barking dogs. And there it is. So yeah, it was definitely down a bit. So let's let it come down a bit. And I'm going to let it come down a bit. And then I'm just kind of watching to make sure everything stays clear. And I'm going to bump it over that way a little bit. And I'm going to abort return to home at this point. So, I'm getting a little bit low on the battery side, but I want to, I, what I want to do is actually fly out to that marker buoy out there so I want to fly out to that marker buoy and I think I got eh, I might have enough battery I'm not sure I've got enough battery to do that so we're getting pretty low on battery so I'm gonna bring her back in so anyways, we captured some interesting water video, some uh, B-roll, if you will, for some other projects. And so I'm going to bring it back, and uh, I'll probably get that buoy on another flight here. So anyways, we're going to bring this down, and I'll back it up a little bit. I like the wetter sand. It, does, it doesn't blow up. Okay, so we've had another great flight over Lake Huron. I uh, got some good video out there, a little bit of dog barking in the background. So, hey, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button over there. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.